now do you need to just play this game as a key, key gamepad or what? Oi. O2, what about O2? Ah, just nothing, Kure. There's nothing to see. If you want to actually know, you can check a little bit up what Kirby told, but um, nothing that special, you know. Just just some event fights. Wait, this is some intro? Okay. Looking good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, man. Horror game? By the way, the second... Second... Ala uh, Wake 2 is coming... This month. Ayonake! We are starting the Alan Wake just now. <laughs> Alright. No hurry to reinstall the game yet. By the way, I bought Alan Wake to Thermos. Thermos? Wait, the bottle. Uh, the Thermo but Ah, that one. Wait, what? You bought that but Wait, okay. Um, Is it okay? Do you survive now better with the Alan Wake bottle? Thermo bottle. Wait, you can put their coffee and everything. Yeah, and it's a thermo. I love wake two thermos. Wait, oh, 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 it's okay. So this game came 2012. Let's press any key. Okay. All right. Let, let's start, guys. New game. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yes, we play normal. Oh man, here we go, guys. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Ah, oh, he's a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stay on my feet. Wait, we are starting from here already? Why would a hitchhiker stand in a tunnel? Reverse your controls for looking up and down. No. So far, it's fine. Yeah, okay, thank you. Examine. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Okay. Wow, the sensitivity, the sensitivity is super high. Game commentary is enough. Thank you, Doctor Mind. Yeah, it kind of ruins the most. I, I was, I was, I, I, I actually. The lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Actually, I was, I was putting it off. I just wanted to hear what the guy wanted to tell, like before I putting it away. But there was coming on already another guy, so. <laughs> 
Hell. I really like this environment. <laughs> Hello, my name is Terro, and I'm <laughs> Alan. <laughs> <laughs> okay get to the lighthouse okay that's our mission hey there's something shiny there okay shift is running okay shift is the run the bridge had collapsed i'd have to find another way to the lighthouse yo i already found the thermos oh i'll awake one oh you need to find them pretty many okay um okay makes sense okay jumping in space okay so, is the foe good now? Okay. Missing. That guy's missing, okay. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. Who are you? Hey! You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? I don't know who you are. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever I did, I'm I'm. I didn't know what I did. Oh man, he's super mad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You missed your deadline. Yeah, dodge attacks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Hey! Thanks, Yonake! Get happy work! Thank you, Yonake! Oh, I'm so happy. This is so much more con more convenient to play. I'm... Oh, man. That thing is angry. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the lighthouse. Let's go. Let's go. We can run. We can run. Let's run. Don't worry about the lights. Just go. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay. Oh man. is watching me the cabin was a death trap I had to get out okay okay I'm getting I I'm getting out Follow the light You are hurt you should go into the light you are only safe there Go into the safe haven. Wait, what was focus? Ah, it just shows me that. Uh huh. Stay in safe haven until you are completely healed. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. 
For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Wow, the light can pick stairs. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Ow, wait, I... Oh, the movements are just... Can I just run? Just like I can keep this up. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Run. You can do it. You can do it. Just go. Thermos. We need the thermos. It's okay. Can wrap it. It's okay. Only 98 left. Go to the lights. Oh no. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. So is this a dream? Must be real. 
Welcome to Bright Falls. City boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, I I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Hmm. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? A text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go <coughs> fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for Do you. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? Mm -hmm. You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Oh, no. Wait, I wanted to find Stucky. To get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans. Oh, he went to the bathroom. Oh, no. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? 
Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Uh, hello. The lake is a special place, very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key? and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Just in case. Hey, wait! This is Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Pat Main here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Bird leg cabin. I already... This, this game looks already so good. Okay, there's maybe some thermal bottle in here. Is it going to be annoying if I try to find them all the time, or...? I'm guessing I'm still going to miss a couple of them. Ooh. Because if they have 100 on those things in here... The oh. generator had been connected to the power cable. Uh. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay, I know our mission was to go into the cabin, but I just wanted to go check the thermo. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that. It was a beautiful place. It was. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. But then. There's always a butt. Alice? 
Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Well, oh. hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. I was already like, hmm. Do we need to like prepare for something or? Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice, you. Everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! What the Alan! hell? Help me! I'm coming! Exactly. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. You wanna get us there? Dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I knew it. I got to miss. I hope I can get there, Brack. Is there any chance even? Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Yep. It's okay, we don't even have our flashlight, so... Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, don't drop. I mean, I don't know, can you even drop down there, but... Hello? Get it. There's a light. Light is good. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Woods at night. What a coincidence. Mm hmm. Do 
we need to find these pages? Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe. Let me guess, there's a thermal bottle in here. Well, if, you if you already missed one... I see you. Can I be sneaky? Hey. Hey, you failed. There's been an accident. I need help. This is it. I need to cabins for rent in Whitefall. Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non Find help. Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. During your trying, get the lady back in. Use the phone. Yes. Rowan! Oh, right fall shirt. Hello? 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 You can see the sun and keep those cholesterol levels. Oh, ho, ho. I am out of here. Bye bye. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. There. Dark Forest was the last place I wanted to go, Son. but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Ah, oh, here. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it.
picked up a flare gun. I just did. Anything else? Uh, maybe we should get hit by that. Okay. We go down here. There's coming more. Ah, you! Yeah, I also don't want to know. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Well, I did. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. Kind of game has like some kind of a secrets or like oh there's a thermo but i've already missed one Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Uh, which way? Hey, what is in there? Really? I want to know. Can you just jump? Thank you. Ah, oh, the page. No. There's that lighthouse again or something. Okay, so this was just... Okay, there's nothing here. And... Yeah, nothing here. Okay, let's go. Super foggy. What? I didn't even see that. That attack was some kind of long range. That was unfair. Gosh, and proceed at all your own risk. Yeah, sure.
The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Somewhere indeed. There are stairs up there, but I think it's not there. Yep. I guess it's in that uh, that place. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Missed me. Wait, whoops. Shotgun! <gasps> nice! Where was the stairs up? I wanna... I wanna... I wanna see? There! Maybe I need to go here after I activate them, but I still want to see this. Nothing special here. Okay. Oh, I see. Here. Jump! You jump. Jump! outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you still are take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in deep mm, the weather is absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you if you listen to no one I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and I wouldn't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one. Wow, what's in here? You're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Morty. Morty. Hello, Morty. Where are you looking? More flares? I don't. I wonder where you used these flares for. Probably a rabbit.
The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Okay, I'm not going there. I'm sorry. Ow. Hey, that's very mean. Fast. Okay. I was too. Yeah. So there. I think I need to continue from that way. Maybe that side. <laughs> Save Haven. Okay, I guess I need to just run from here someplace. Nice. More light. Okay, it's so long road from here. Sus. Oh no. Run. Run. Oh no. Oh 
Okay, I guess I need to go from there. Okay. What? Ow! I'm running. Where? I dodged. Oh, that was some kind of big boss. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights at the gas station alive. There's lots of bullets here still. Someplace. Wait, was, is that a chainsaw? Oh man, can we get that? Yeah. Okay, now the gate is open. Good. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. <laughs> After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Bright Falls Sheriff Station. What? Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? 
I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. This is so sus. What is going on? The stocky was just the devil now and... Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. New York City. Three years ago. weather I've ever seen. Hmm. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. I already have one. <laughs> but thanks. Okay, let's keep the let's keep the wife happy. I hey, just Hansel, take this one. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. What is that wind? Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Crazy wind. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Okay, so where's my desk? Here? These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm <laughs> sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Mm -mm. Bright Falls, the present day. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? 
I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Fever. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Beaver. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Ducky Gas on, Station John. with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Ducky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Alice was missing. That I needed help to find her. I, guess I wasn't ready to leave. Eccentric. She used to be the editor of Come the in, Mr. Paper. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Unknown caller. The woman. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's Mr. a spot Wade, called can Lover's I help you with Peak. anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers.
This is so weird. Like, what the... So this is not the dream. journey into the dark alice's life is at stake but i can't think about that or i'll lose it the dread lingers at the edge of perception i'll push on anything is possible here i'll write the story i'll save her are we living now in the dream world where we that we have typed and now we are living it what the guy has been typed I think it... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. <laughs> Get me out of here. What is going on? What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the Mets. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Rose decides I was like... Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying Wait in here. the car, just listen to Easy me. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration oh. form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Oh, Crazy geez. poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't what? stop You Tumble shot a life. guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week! And someone's got Alice! Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. Wait Story here. Could be a best <laughs> Wait here again. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Here, just Al, the path. you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. <laughs> Those situations always end up... Let's go. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. 
This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. And you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Yeah, best way is to go by night. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Don't scare me like that. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end of the studio. Doc. What's your clear best plan like? My plan? You make I saw that. Organize and I ever seek to manage. Joko, exactly. Okay, here we go again. Wait, 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 wait. I think we need to go there, so we go up first. Oh, man. Actually, the graphics are pretty cool. Yeah, I help you very soon. I just get a couple of coffee thermos and
felt rusty. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. <laughs> it would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Oh no. Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches. Oh! Like liquid darkness. I just need hunting licenses. Oh no. Had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. The donkey. Are you coming here or not? Finally! That's rude. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it.
Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. I guess we kind of go from here. We are. Maybe flare again. I still don't understand. Oh, shotgun as well. Oh, nice battery batteries. Okay. Let's just go here. Ow! I just want to go to the light. Go, go, go. You can do it. You can't hurt me now. Aha. So they come soon back. I couldn't dodge. Wait, what? Oh, they're coming back. Oh, man, really? Oh, wait, I can't... Crazy. Why this guy cannot just run? Can you know how to run? Come on. Oh, really? Crazy. I knew I need to activate like this, so that's why I didn't even bother to bother to do that. <laughs> Ooh, let's go that get that thermal. There's another one. Am I going to hurt myself if I drop down there? Uh, I guess I go from this way. Okay. If I can. Yep.
Yeah, it is something going to happen again because there's a bear. Bear alert. Don't say there's a bear. Oh, no. No. Okay, nice. Wait, I thought the thermo is here. Ah, here. Nice, you can push that. So some secrets. Wow. Checkpoint reached. Oh man, this place looks super cool. I guess nothing's going to happen while we are here. Yep. I knew it. Oh no. Oh no. Away. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so there is another hero who knows these things. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, wait. You better keep up. Hear that? It's them. I just pressed the shit. Wait, I pressed... Ow! 
Ow! Ah, uh, I think I know what I need to do. Oh, I can't steal help like this. Shoot them now. Get some. Ah, that's right. that's oh man, my helper is so bad aim. It's even worse than Rotem GM. Thank you. box to hold them off while i get these boards off give me the gun yeah <laughs> no can do wake are you kidding give me the gun no time for back talk hold them off damn it i don't have any flares are you kidding me i have one Yeah, sure. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Ow! Back off. Crazy. Woo. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Well, I don't got any flares left. <laughs> but this is must be the this must be the Alawake's own story because he was saying story, this guy. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Get your cheap ass ready, Wake. Really? Good. Ah! 
Can you just shoot them now? I dodged. No, I need to wait. I need to die. Yeah, exactly. Can you just... Nice. Boy. Cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Come back here. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Make it through the woods. Oh no. Wait! I thought it was the man. Rusty had warned me about these traps. It hurt like hell. I was stuck. Secrets? No, no secrets. Okay, we cannot do anything about those. Okay, these are the traps. Jump! <laughs> Don't- Oh, wow. Uh, how do we get there? Huh? Go 
Wait, what? Really? Wait, I don't... Ah, uh, maybe not even there yet. Okay, okay. So here. Ah, oh, there! That was nice voice, I know. You can do it! Yes! Weird comparison, I know, but this reminds me of Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. The flashlight is kind of like the wand. Maybe there is something... Funny, they are actually here, but they can't be hitting if I'm in the light, which is actually funny because they are here. So how should I do this? Anyway, I need to go this side. I need to go down here. Oh no. Tried to put it on, it was like, ah. Okay.
be us soon there. One more. Ooh, this looks cool. Kirby, what do you think about the game? Okay, now it's just like a balanced. Pretty cool. If I go here, it's like... Well, I'm not sure. Is it... Is it like that? And what do you think? Wait, do we need to use that one? Oh, maybe not. Or maybe. I don't know what's that clever thing to do because I cannot... I can jump from here. Okay, but first... Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. I figured it out. But first, I'm gonna go here. There's something here, definitely. Yep. Players. Something's going to happen here. We have players, we have... Drops that. Ouch. Okay, something... Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, now I understood where you can see when it's going to be effective against light. That needs so much. Oh, now I learned. It's soon. Soon. Yes. Okay. So there's a circle. What I just figured it out now. Maybe you already maybe you already figured it out, but there's a circle like in the enemy when I pointing them at with the light. And when the circle goes smaller, it actually then going to be like um after that it's going to be invernable when it ha when that weird click happens sus Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hello? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. soon nice Turn to Barry. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. You can learn about nature and yourself. Drive. Oh, we are really driving ourselves. Bye bye.
Sorry. Oh, man. Berry! Sus. You can change vehicle. Well, I can. Oh, but we are very close already. Hey, stop it. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch. Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not... well, uh, get me. Yes. Yes, I, I get you. This is so weird. Like, there are those some kind of weird shadow things, like... And then, now these are talking about... I'm coming, Barry! of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Oh! You can't trick me.
I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. <laughs> All good. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Good girl. Oh, no. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript. I think I need to. That's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Episode 3, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard. I hope it's going to save. I think it's going to save. Thank you. <laughs> 